What is going on everyone? I'm Ethan, also known as Ragnarok, and welcome back to another episode of The Last of Us Part 2. In the last episode, we found Leah's dead body. We had a lot of run-ins with the WLF. We found a new infected, being the Shambler. And now we've made it to this theatre where Dina revealed that she is pregnant. <laughs> or at least she thinks she is, but we're all pretty sure she's pregnant. So, yeah, Ellie said some not very nice things. And now we're kind of just in a not talking stage, so let's... Let's go see what we can do in the rest of this place. Pregnant. Fucking pregnant. How could you keep something like that? Keep something like that as in like, <laughs> how dare you keep a baby? Or is it more like, how could you keep it a secret? Um. Yep. Okay. This note's old. Still, better be careful. Be kind of awkward if someone was still living in here, hearing us have that little conversation downstairs. Just like, oh, that's none of my business. Oh, hello. There's notes all over the place. All these notes I just don't want to read, because I've read them all before. Hold on, what was that? Just please, can I craft anything? Uh, some mollies would be good, or at least one. Uh, trap mines are always fun. Nice and helpful. And a silencer, if and when we need it. Ah, uh, out into the rain. Wait, does my, uh, revolver have any bullets? Oh, it does. Well, I'll use the pistol for now. Get nice and wet. Let's go faster, Ellie. Don't want to be out in here as long as we possibly can. Just put the hood up. You didn't want to do that before climbing the ladder? No? PTSD. Every time I have to do a generator. What's going on here? Oh, this man fried to death. And you took the hood straight back off. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> well, thank you. Hold on. So some parts on the floor. She took the hood off to go inside. I was going to say, she took the hood off to go inside that little part and took it back off again to come back out. Make that make sense. All right. Should have some light now. What's on the radio? Uh, oh! What's this? Alright. That's handy. It's a good job. You had that little moment of rage, Ellie. Oh, what's that? Can I craft another molly? Yes, sir. No, I won't say no. Okay, we don't need to light it up right now. Too sad, it really is. Mm, spooky. No way. Oh, a guitar. If this girl any excuse to play a guitar, she'll take it. Just 
just perfectly tune a guitar, you know? I wish I could. Breaks my fucking heart. It's starting to sound like something. Oh, I suck. Nah. Just need to build up your calluses, that's all. Yeah. All right, come on. Is this it? Yeah. Oh, shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, why did they do this to me? It actually I'm kills me. Guessing. You want to spoil your surprise now? Oh, no. Is it a dinosaur? Stop trying to guess. I ain't telling you. <sighs> All right. Is it an elephant? Is it a convertible? You're not gonna guess. Is it a puppy? Is it a lot of kittens? You mean a litter? What's a litter? A bunch of kittens. Why wouldn't you call it just a bunch of kittens? <laughs> I mean, she's got a point. She has a point. I Thank you. It. I got it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You should see your face right now. What am I drown? No, you're not gonna drown. You gotta work on that confidence, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing, old man. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this way. The worst. Ah, oh, but we love him, really. Your swimming's getting better. Remember now, don't just flail about. You Push gotta... the water with your whole arm. Blah, blah, blah. Glad to know I'm getting through. I just... I can't, man. It hurts me. It hurts me. It actually hurts me. See it? Just through there, look. I see it. Yeah. Looks like. How's it feel, Joel? Uh, refreshing. Yeah, it's not nice getting pushed in, is it? Well, actually, we need to swim through this part anyway. I got well. you back. You're angry and upset. I am very angry and upset. Now, come on. Ugh. Cowabunga! <laughs> Sit like cannonball. <laughs> you don't need to dive under here. Right, take a deep breath. Yeah, I got oh, this. God. And how'd you dive? Uh, this is just so bittersweet, you know. He did say he was gonna teach her how to swim, and he did. My sixth grade history teacher wanting to apologize for being a massive dick. I beg your pardon? <laughs> My friend and I would argue whenever he called the fireflies terrorists. We got a lot of attention. You know, you really need to stop letting people rile you up. It's hard when they're dicks. Point still stands. <laughs> right, get another dive over here. Let's go. Are you taking me? 
Can't even dive, game. Can I dive? Is it a new pair of sneakers? How many of those do you have? Not enough. Help me, Joel. Okay. Fuck it. I'm done guessing. Oh, good. But, like, is it a massive <laughs> comic book collection? She says. No, wait. A new DVD collection? Yes. Listen, which one? Just yes. <laughs> Just <laughs> yes. I heard that's a thing. Oh, oh shit, Joel. We're here. Oh my god, it is a dinosaur! And it is. Joel! Surprise. Holy shit. Oh, it's a motherfucking dinosaur. I can't. I actually just can't. This wounds me so deeply. <laughs> Why did they give us these moments with Joel? They just make it hurt even more. They really just do. I love that you can do this, though. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, Ellie, be, be careful. I'm climbing a dinosaur! Yeah, I can see that. Just don't die falling off of one. Look at me! We made it! I'm on a motherfucking dinosaur! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Don't jump! Just I'm definitely gonna jump. down! Sorry, Joel. It's gotta be done. Let's go! Ah! Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. Oh, wasn't it awesome? It's awesome that you didn't break anything. Oh, that was awesome. He's so concerned. The dad side of him's kicking in. Oh, I was just gonna climb through, but that works. <laughs> What, you my tour guide? What's this? Uh, it's a book? It's a dinosaur book. Mm, okay. Alright. <laughs> it's a book. <laughs> like, we know that, Joel. Oh, man. <laughs> you wanna try it on? I do not. Come on, Joel. Your loss. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> oh, hello. Sorry, the dinosaurs are busy right now. What are you doing? Oh, wait. One of the dinosaurs is here. Oh my God. <laughs> it's for you. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. It is pretty funny. You get it? It's because you're old. No, I get it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't sound very impressed. Come on, Joel. Lighten up a bit. Giants of the past. Wow. Tiny head. <laughs> Joel, look. That is a hat on a dinosaur. It's called a hatosaur. Oh, we tried. Not all the jokes are gonna land. Keep working on it, Ellie. Let's put a hat on all of them. Hey, is this gonna be a thing? Yep. Please don't let it be a thing. <laughs> don't act like you don't love it. This is very amusing, Joel, and I know you know it. I know you think so. Oh, trading cards even in the past. The Nighthawk. Oh, okay. Cool. He's got a dog. These uh, superhero cards. Seems like they were popular. 
I think Sarah was into those for a while. Oh, Sarah. Forget. Oh yeah, I remember this. This is like the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> like, why did they put this in? It's like you can do all of this, but then you can just like. <laughs> Like, Joel is just so unamused. Like, how creepy does that look? <laughs> and you can just stay here forever doing this. Like, why? <laughs> it's so odd. Anyway. What do you think, Joel? He doesn't even say anything. <laughs> he just doesn't say anything about it. <laughs> Alright, what dinosaurs have we not put a hat on yet? The Dimetrodon was an apex predator. What's an apex predator? The most badass predator. Huh. Pretty short for that. Wait, were you talking about me? Oh, you wish. Whatever floats your boat. This does. Floats it all day. Gallimimus's name means chicken mimic. I, who names these? Scientists. Well, they're dumb. Well, there's a reason for it all. Brachiosaurus ate 600 pounds of plants each day. Whew. Imagine the poops. Do you imagine if dinosaurs actually existed still? <laughs> It'd be so terrifying. Like, please. Even if they were just, like, contained. Velociraptor. So small. I guess you can't trust the movies. I'm talking about Jurassic Park here? What's going on? I'm not gonna talk about the Tyrannosaurus. Look how thick this one's skull is. Kinda looks like Tommy. <laughs> I'm telling him you said that. Please don't. Catch it in the right light. Boom, Tommy. I'm just just insulting his brother out here. <laughs> Can't do Tommy like that. Whoa, this one looks like a bird. Well, actually, paleontologists believe that birds were descended from dinosaurs. Well, excuse me, Mr. Professor. I happen to know a thing or two. He's got wisdom, he's got knowledge. Ah, oh, good old Joel Miller. You get a hat too. <sighs> <laughs> uh. This one actually suits it, I can't even lie. Joel. Ellie. <laughs> Don't you dare take it off. My birthday, my rules. <laughs> he looks so unamused, <laughs> Joel. <laughs> oh my god. I miss him. I actually miss him so much. Did you go to museums a lot? Yeah. Oh, Alright, Joel. Fucking hell. I swear that girl dragged me to every damn museum in Texas. Well, looks like a giraffe. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Hey, Joel's on board. That's a good hat for her, actually. I see the appeal. <laughs> Told you. He gets it. Alright, moving on from the dinosaurs, I guess. To outer space. <gasps> Did you know this was here? Oh, you don't like it. Um, we can head back. Yeah. 
<laughs> Shut up. Hey, Joel. Guess what the first animal to go to space was? I don't have to guess. It was a monkey. No, it was fruit flies. Yeah, in 1947. It was to fruit see radiation flies? exposure at high altitudes. And they lived through it. Hey, gum bro, you are smart. Thanks. Do a lot of reading. Did they become super fly? What? Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to match her energy and she's like, uh, what are you on about? Oh. Hey, Joel, can you name all the planets? This is gonna break. <clears throat> My very educated mother just served us nice pizzas. Uh, did you just have a stroke? <laughs> Very Venus, Mother Mars. Oh, okay. I get it. That's pretty cool. Where'd you learn that, Joel? Alright, that's enough. You know how many times we've been to the moon? Uh, twice. Six times. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm gonna make it seven. Uh, I... Okay. <laughs> I would have said two as well. But what the fuck do I know, right? Oh, fuck yeah. Where's the steering wheel? Rovers don't use steering wheels. They use joysticks. Huh. Hang on. Just the real one. Well, considering they left the real ones on the moon, I would say no. Hell, he knows our stuff. A little astronaut. Different satellites. Look, we got ourselves a helmet. Hmm, which one do I like the look of? Eh, are they all the same, actually? <laughs> they probably are. Oh well, let's go for the orange suit guys one. Cool. There we go. How does it smell in there? Like space. And yeah. dust. Like space indeed. This is a thing that took a mighty effort to find. Take it. His face, man. Ah, he knows he's done good.
the soundtrack. Please, man, this reminds me so much of the, uh, the part from the Left Behind DLC. Like when you're playing on the arcade machine. It's kind of like the same imaginary type thing they did. Look at him. It's just pure love. I just, ah. Uh... I do okay. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, kiddo. What do you say we, uh, keep looking around, huh? Yeah, I guess. I love the soundtrack. I love the soundtrack, I can't even lie. Just, ah, uh, last of a soundtrack. Can't go wrong. Do you hear it? It's too cute. It's too cute. It's too sweet. Let's go, old man. Oh, are we taking a seat? Oh, what, <laughs> what was that? Oh. You know what? I completely forgot. I did say at one point I was going to keep opening the journal every now and then. Well, when we get back to present day, Ellie, I will. So you can have a look through it. Here. There we go. Big strong man you are, Joel. Thank you very much. There's more museum stuff over there. Yeah, I never checked out that building. Let's go. And just how do you plan on getting yourself over there? Like this? Ah! Ellie! God! <laughs> you give anyone else this much grief? Get down here! No! Hey, whose birthday is it? You can't keep doing that. I want a good splash. We've got more exploring to do. Come on, Joel. Give us what we deserve. Get out of Nice. That's pretty good. Hey, who's being there? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll open the door for you. Come on, we can't chicken out now. Thank you very much. All right. Nope. There. Oh, the coast is clear so far. Oh, it looks hey, like I can't open the door. Is, there's shit blocking the door. Well, see if you can find me another way in. I'll, I'll walk around the outside. Okay, be safe. You be safe. <laughs> I was gonna say, say that to me. Around. Should be saying that to me. Ooh, stay strong, buddy. Now, if this, if this isn't foreshadowing, like <laughs> I've ever seen it, ah, <sighs> they know exactly what they were doing with this. All the wolves going for the moose. The moose being Joel, the wolves being, you know. <sighs> oh. This guy needed a hug. It's dark in here. That's why we've got a light. Oh, shit. Excuse me? Uh, yeah, not the time for my flashlights. We go now, please. Oh my god. Come on, fucker. Okay.
Oh, this man is going through all stages of grief right now. Let's have a brick for some protection. Hello. There is no light. That's deep. We wanted to end suffering, we wanted to restore humanity. Each time we sacrificed part of ourselves, our leader kept saying it will be worth it. Now we've disbanded with nothing to show for our sins. I thought coming here might reignite something, some purpose. My parents love bringing me here. It's one of my earliest memories from before the outbreak, before all of the cruelty and savagery. Those memories just made me angrier. I don't want to be in this world anymore. I can't look at the person I've become. Sounding like an ex firefly to me. I'd say. <sighs> oh. Stupid fake animals. <laughs> Screw them, right? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I completely forgot that happened. <laughs> She's gonna shout at me. Man, they had to have ruined a sweet moment with this. Look how she holds her arm. Let's get a move on. I want to get a fire going before it gets too dark. And now Joel just doesn't want to be here. Yeah. And this is where the disconnect started or continued. You know, she was like trying to give him a way back in and forgive him, but you know, it was just constant reminders. Go check on Dina. Okay, is that the radio? Why can we hear that from here? That's so loud. Oh, hold on. Before we do that, how do I open my journal again? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, alright. Now you can have a look through all of this. I think that's pretty much as far as we went. Maybe. So, you know. Feel free to pause and read at your own leisure. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Could have done without. Hey. How hot do I look right now? Pretty hot. How'd you fix it? It was a loose connection. Antenna. They found our mess at the school. Good. This guy, Owen, he went AWOL. Maybe Tommy got to him. Maybe. What about her? Nothing yet. Unit Romeo, you are requested at site two. Repeat, you are requested at site two. Confirm. So, the numbers are locations. The TV station we were at, that's six. There's a lot of chatter coming out of two, so I'm assuming that's their home base. That helps. 
Look. Last night was stupid. Casualties reported in 14. All available units report. Over. This is site 13. Unit Lima nearby. How many scars you got? Over. Negative on scars. Lone male trespasser. R. Lone male trespasser? Tommy. Tommy. Where's 14? Uh, not a hundred percent sure. Okay, then guess. Uh, if this is seven, twelve's all the way over here. I guess it's somewhere in this neighborhood. Hillcrest. Hillcrest. Okay. Keep tracking them, okay? Yeah, okay. Wait. Give me your hand. It's for good luck. I don't believe in luck. I do. Crest. Is this the right place? Definitely the right place. Oh, that doesn't sound Let's good. Go, Tommy. <sighs> Shit. Well, as much as we didn't really do a whole lot, that's been like 40 odd minutes, and I think that's a pretty good way to end it. Have a whole episode dedicated to just Joel and Ellie for the most part, and a nice little flashback. Oh, it hurts my soul. It really does. I just these flashback scenes just make me miss him so much more. But I guess that's the point of it, right? To keep reminding you of why you're doing what you're doing and what you missed. But you know, we've still got a lot of game ahead of us. So that's gonna do it for now. Next time we will be going to find Tommy in this Hillcrest area. But until then, I've been Ethan, also known as Ragnarok, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.